What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and I'm here today to talk about my tips and tricks for the new killer in Dead by Daylight, the pig. So I'm going to go through kind of everything you need to know about her and, and even more how you should play as her. Um, I'm not going to talk so much about strategies revolving around the actual game itself or the actual perks, because that's, that's just, in, in the end of the day, the way you want to play it. I will talk about that very briefly at the end, maybe some of the things that I've noticed or I've seen I've played as, but I'm going to start this off by just saying kind of overall what is what's about her that's so good, how do you play as her, how do you master the things that they give you as her. So let's get right into it. So if you know the pig, you should know a couple things about her first. Firstly, she's incredibly fast. She's actually one of the faster characters in the game. I don't think she is the fastest, both playing as her and against her. I do not feel like she is the fastest, but she's certainly fast. One of her abilities is her crouch ability. And that's where we're going to kind of start. The crouching is something that you need to do. The crouching is a great way to get from one place to the other in a very, very quick amount of time. It's a great way of kind of jumping at people. It's a great way to get somebody when they're getting somebody off a hook. I found myself doing that a couple times that, you know, not if you base camp because, you know, depending on how you play, you may not want to base camp. But if you see somebody unhooking a survivor, one of the better ways is to crouch and dash over there. It's a very quick way of getting from one place to the other. You can even do it possibly as you're chasing somebody to really close the gap. It depends on how you want to do it. But another tip with the crouching itself is what it does. You cannot be heard when you crouch. The only thing that you can hear when you crouch is when you spring up. When you actually are charging, when you're doing the dash, that is when the survivor will hear you. But if you're not doing that, if you're just crouching, the survivors cannot hear you coming. Their heartbeat won't go off and they won't make any noises. So that is definitely a great way to explain. Explore. Yes, you're very slow, but what I would advise you doing is look for the markings. Look for the survivor markings on the, you know, everywhere on trees, on buildings. Find where you think maybe they're somewhere around crouch and then go over there because then they won't be able to even hear you coming. So that's a perfect way to do that. Her knife is actually really, really good. She's got the, you know, Assassin's Creed hidden blade thing going on and it has really great mobility actually. You can attack people and when you strike them, she actually does a mini dash when you do that. So what I would advise there is you don't have to be super close. You know, there's some killers that you have to be very, very close to the person. You know, if you played Michael Myers, when he's in stage one of his, of his three teams, Years, that one you have to be very you have to be basically on top of the person to attack them for the pig you really don't but you don't have to get that close in order to strike them so make sure you're planning your distance when you're attacking with her and the last thing for the pig herself is obviously her traps so her traps obviously allow you to put a reverse bear trap on a survivor's head when you down them you can also hook them after the fact and you go from there so what I would advise for that is you know you can play it however you want I have seen pigs use two traps per one survivor actually i've seen them you know i've seen a survivor get a trap on them get a trap on on off them you know go into the jigsaw boxes and then the pig would put it back on so i have seen that but what i personally do is i try and literally diversify you start out with four reverse bear traps now you can bring in add-ons that allow you to have an extra reverse bear trap so you can't have more you can have up to five i'm pretty sure but let's just say you have four for you know just base players playing um i tend to use it on every survivor. I try and do one per survivor. So you're going to have to check that. You know, you're going to have to be able to know who you've already done and all that stuff. Obviously, in the bottom left, you can see when the trap has been put on a survivor. You can see it um, on their just player name, on, on, on their like icon. So you got to make sure you're keeping aware of that. And you also have to make sure you're keeping aware of that for when the timer starts going. So when it lights up red, that obviously means they don't have a lot of time left. And honestly, that is a really good time to start the hunt. So here's, here's what I've noticed with the pig, and this is also kind of like the tip or trick, is put it on. Some pigs, actually, quite a few, don't trap. They don't put the reverse bear trap on. They just knock you down and put you on a on a hook. That's okay. I mean, that's just what every killer does. But when you put the trap on the head, what you're doing, they're not the hardest to take off as a survivor. They are a little scary when the countdown's going down and you you know you've checked all the boxes and then you have one box left and you got like maybe 20 seconds to take it off. It's a it's pretty scary. So I do think the mechanic works in the game. However, it's not super hard to take it off. But what it does do is it pulls somebody off a generator. As a killer, that is a very important thing. When you reverse bear trap somebody, you put the pressure on them to take it off. 
right? So they're not going to be working on a generator. Furthermore, when you work on generators, the more they work on generators, the more that timer goes faster. So if people really just want to leave the person to die, and if they're not checking the jigsaw boxes and they're all helping the generators, then that bear trap will go off. So make sure, you know, you're watching that. Make sure as soon as you bear trap somebody, not only are you kind of going back and forth between generators, seeing where people are, make sure you also check the jigsaw boxes. You can see them in the map, so you'll know where they are. There's only four of them. So the survivor has got to go to one of them, right? So you're going to probably run into them. I have seen pigs let people do it. I mean, that's that's actually a pretty nice thing to do. But you make sure you're checking around the area and that you can get them. So that's another way of hunting them down is you know they have to go to one of four. It's not like uh, generators where there's like seven per match, seven or eight uh, per map. This one, there's only four and there's always four. So you can easily jump back and forth between the four and find them. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I mean, the rest of it is just all up to how you play, you know, how you play the game, finding the markings, finding the survivors, bringing in your offerings, bringing in your add-ons, you know, bringing in the Mori so you can do the instant kills, um, what what perks you have, you know, I love Deerstalker, so you, I think you need Deerstalker on any killer. The pig has special perks, perks where you can actually see the last two remaining generators that are being worked on. So there are some good perks. That is just all up to you. You play however you want, but those are just some tips of literally what she's about and how to play. Okay, so let me know in the comments below what you guys think of her. If I missed anything, any tips you would recommend to somebody else. If this video does well enough and you guys want me to, like if you request, I, I can also make a video on how to survive against her. I played it with my friend Sparrow's Nest uh, the other night, and we played for like six hours, and we escaped multiple pigs. So I can definitely make a video on that of what I've learned as a survivor as well. So let me know if you want that video, and I'll make it if you guys do. So thank you all for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share, and I'll see you on the next video.